Today, we will be discussing about COVID vaccines with Dr. Jayalakshmi TK, who is a senior consultant pulmonologist at Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. Welcome, Doctor. Uh, doctor, first of all, we would like to know uh, something about the vaccines. Please share uh, a few views on that. So, uh, so, COVID vaccines are of various types. The ones which have been currently already launched are the two mRNA type of vaccines, that is Pfizer and Moderna, and the adenovirus vector vaccine, that is Oxford uh, vaccine, AstraZeneca with Oxford. So, these are the ones which have been rolled off. There is also the Sputnik vaccine, uh, which is a Russian vaccine, which is also an adenoviral vector vaccine, as well as some Chinese vaccines have also been uh, rolled out and are being administered. Mm -hmm. Dr. Tell, when uh, we can expect COVID-19 vaccines to come out to the general public? So, in India, already the government has uh, made an initial uh, announcement. Uh, they have made the task force, they have made the various uh, uh, task force all over India and uh, the date of giving the vaccinations has not yet been announced but probably in a few days uh, the government will approve the two vaccines, that is the Oxford uh, AstraZeneca vaccine, which is with Serum Institute of India, which is uh, called as the COVID Shield, and uh, uh, the Bharat Biotech uh, vaccine. Uh, so, this also will be approved. Uh, doctor, should we get uh, vaccinated once it's made available? Uh, do we have any choice or it's voluntary? So, uh, so as we were say, uh, saying, the timeline should probably be somewhere by end of uh, January or beginning of February. And uh, it will be a voluntary vaccination, it will not be compulsory, however, uh, it will be initially rolled out for the healthcare workers, for the frontline workers and the uh, government has also said that they would be initially also rolling it out for the elderly, those who are above 50 years of age, preference will be given to those who are above 60 years of age in that. Uh, initially the youngsters that is less than 18 years, they will not be targeted for the vaccination. And uh, it will be voluntary, but it will be as per the uh, uh, as per the rolling out by the government. Are these vaccines safe? Because there are some news that uh, it changes our DNA uh, after it gets injected into our bodies. Yeah, so there has been a lot of misinformation about the vaccine. Uh, these vaccines are perfectly safe. There have been studies which are done in over 70,000 people. Uh, the Pfizer vaccination has, uh, the phase 3 trials have included about 70,000 uh, people, 35,000 each in the control arm as well as in the vaccine arm. And uh, safety studies have been done at least for minimum 6 months. Uh, so, from the month of May to the month of November, there have been uh, vaccines actually being administered because the phase 1 and 2 studies were completed in, from March itself. Uh, since the whole process has been accelerated, but none of the steps of the process have been removed. All the steps have been done, but they have been done quickly because there was a lot of government willpower, a lot of finance, finances have gone into it, private and public agencies have put money, the pharmaceuticals have also put money. And hence, these all, they were in a normal vaccination procedure stage, it will take something between 7 to 8 years for a vaccine to come out. Because for each phase, you will need the, first the stay, uh, phase of study will be completed and then the, you will wait for a government approval and then you will wait for a funding. So, all these steps have been uh, bypassed. Also, the technology of the vaccine, that is the mRNA technology, is a new technology. It does not uh, make any changes in, the, uh, in our genes or genetic material. Uh, and it is quite safe. So, how can we know that which vaccine is best for us? Because there are many different uh, vaccines available. So, how the general public will know which is the best so one? As of now, uh, the vaccines which are available are mainly the adenoviral vector vaccines and the mRNA vaccines. mRNA vaccine will not be available in India for a few months at least. Uh, so, it will be the adenoviral vector vaccines, mainly the uh, Bharat Biotech and the COVID Shield, uh, that is the AstraZeneca with the Serum Institute of India. So these will be so later on. Once there will be many other type of vaccines also available, like protein subunit vaccines. Then maybe uh, there will be a choice for the public as to which they may take. But as of now, I don't think there will be much choice. And the government has also said that they will be launching only one particular type of vaccine in one particular type of area. So it will not be that there will be many available. This is to create avoid a confusion. 
so because there will be two doses, you don't want that first dose should be one vaccine and second dose should be another. So to avoid all this confusion, there will be only one type of vaccine which is made available initially. Later on, we will uh, understand as more and more vaccines are launched. Uh, who will administer the vaccine and how it, it will be administered, like through an injection or there would be any other source? Yeah, so it will be uh, administered as an intramuscular injection. Mostly it will be taken in the arm. There will be two injections, one initially and one after 28 days. So this will be the, it will be administered in a hospital. As of now, the government is approving uh, centers, which are mostly the government centers for the approval. And they will be uh, selecting people uh, based on the eligibility, based on whether for healthcare workers, frontline workers, etc. There is a plan which is being drawn up. Later on, there will be the private sector also, which will be included in the administering the vaccine. Okay. And would uh, this vaccine uh, will be available like on uh, pharmacy shops? Later on, it should be available in pharmacy shops. Initially, it would not be available. It would be available as a, it will be rolled out by the government because the, there is a lot of stringency in how the vaccine has to be stored and how it has to be, uh, uh, it has to be uh, kept in the administering centers also. So initially, it will be only in government centers. Later on, probably we should see it being available in the pharmacies as well. Okay. okay, and uh, what about hospitals? In which, uh, particularly in which hospitals would it be made available or the local clinics? So, definitely it will be available in the major public health hospitals. Uh, about the private hospitals, there is not yet, uh, it's not yet clear. Apollo Hospital also is uh, geared up to help the government in a big way in administering the vaccine because of the huge infrastructure and the manpower uh, who is uh, trained which, uh, which we have. So, uh, there will be tie-ups with the private sector as well. So, we, we will have to wait for the announcements. Uh, after taking this vaccination, how a person like he or she will be tagged uh, that he, he or she is vaccinated? So, uh, abroad they are giving cards or certificates when the person receives the first dose and the second dose. Probably some similar card system may be in India also. Okay. Uh, would we have to pay for it or it will be available free from a government site? We really don't know. I, I think in the next few days we should be getting an announcement from the government regarding availability of the vaccine. The Most probably it may not be charged but we don't know as of now. Is there a shelf life for this vaccine? Like how? Uh, so, uh, the uh, two mRNA vaccines need to be stored at uh, very cold temperatures. So, initially we, we may not be looking at a rollout in India so soon. They need to be stored at mi minus 70 for the uh, for the Pfizer vaccine and minus 20 for the Moderna vaccine. But uh, afterwards, once uh, once they are in the field, they can be stored in the refrigerated temperature for up to a week for the Pfizer vaccine and even longer for the Moderna. So there will be a shelf life and that will be as per the different type of vaccines will have a different shelf life. It will depend on the type of the vaccine which is given. Would there be any side effects and if there are any certain side effects like fever or vomiting, what a person needs to do in that case? So, uh, the normal side effects which have been observed are pain at the site of injection, uh, there is some swelling there, some patients have slight uh, malaise, some fe mild feverish, headache. So, more than that, uh, there have been no side effects in most of the people. Some have reported as an anaphylactic reaction, means like an allergic reaction. So, these are usually the patients who already have an allergic reaction to various other uh, substances. So, such patients have to be careful in taking the vaccine. How long will the effect of vaccine remain in the body? Uh, so, the vaccine effect as of now, it's been studied for a period of 6 months. It's good effect remaining even after 6 months. That is the antibody level which has been produced after the vaccine is given is of good quality. It remains for some time. For definitely for six months, we don't know how long it will remain. Uh, over the next one or two years, there will be more information available. But it is estimated by the scientists that it should remain up to two years, seeing that the uh, uh, the vaccine gives a very good uh, immunity profile to the patient. A person who has uh, just recovered from COVID-19, uh, does uh, that person need to take the vaccine? Yeah, so this is a very good question in a lot of people's mind because now so many people have already been infected. Uh, however, the efficacy of the immunity, we don't know how long it will last and how good it is. We are seeing that in some patients who have a milder infection or uh, they have very less antibodies in their blood or sometimes they don't mount an antibody response at all. And some patients who uh, have had more severe, very severe infections also don't have much antibodies. 
So, because of this varying immunity level, it's better that even those who have got COVID uh, should take the vaccine. And what about uh, currently who are going under treatment for COVID-19? So, people they... who are suffering from COVID as of now, uh, at least for 14 days after complete resolution of symptoms, they should wait and only then they should take the vaccine. And what about the other patients who are currently undergoing uh, uh, like treatments for other uh, illnesses such as heart diseases, lung diseases, So patients cancer. with severe kidney disease or uh, cancer who are under, having chemotherapy or who are on steroid treatment. So these are actually the patients who are more at high risk for getting very severe illness with COVID. So this is actually the target population who should definitely take the vaccine. However, they should take the advice of their doctor and be under supervision when they are taking the vaccine. Uh, like should the young children also take the vaccine? As of now, the vaccine is not being rolled out for young children. Uh, Moderna is doing studies for children between 12 to 18 years. So now they are being enrolled for the studies. So up to 18 years, the vaccine is not being given at this stage. Okay. So what about doctor? If once we are vaccinated, uh, are we uh, like allowed to freely roam with our family and friends like how we used to do earlier? Yeah. So the uh, so the uh, benefit with this vaccine is that it prevents against serious infection, prevents against um, uh, life threatening hospitalization. So all this it prevents, but it does not completely prevent infection. It reduces the infection to great extent, but person can still be infected and have very mild illness without even maybe knowing, maybe asymptomatic. Such a patient can still transmit the illness to the others. Hence the masking. Social distancing has still to be maintained. Doctor, if you were offered the vaccine, would you take it? Yes, definitely I would take it and I would even give it to my parents. I'm just waiting for it to come so that we can uh, be administered. This uh, illness we have seen has taken the lives of so many patients, so many uh, doctor colleagues all over India and all over the world, so many other frontline workers. Uh, it's been a painful and difficult year and this COVID vaccine for me, it's like light at the end of a tunnel and I, I, I visualize that in 2021 there will be a launching and rollout of this vaccine in a big way in India and we should all take uh, the benefit of that. Thank you so much doctor for the detailed answers. It has really solved a lot of doubts and uh, uh, like related to this vaccine and uh, do you have any parting comments on this? Uh, Parting comments is uh, Happy New Year to everybody and uh, wish you the best of health. Continue the masking, distancing, continue to be careful and uh, hope that we will have a much better 2021 with the vaccine also in our hands. Thank, Thank you. you.